Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, let's start out this uh, discussion regarding uh, the energy systems that are being used for training um, world athletes, world world class swimmers, and uh, also also national level swimmers. Um, what it is is uh, the first the first topic is about aerobic capacity one. What this is, is commonly referred to as recovery and general endurance. Okay? When you give this type of uh, workout, it normally covers about 20 minutes of work with very little rest in between the, the distance. Like, let's say, for instance, if you will give 50s or you're going to give 100s, you will only give some, somewhere or anywhere in between 5 to 10 seconds rest interval per 50 or per 100, depending on how, uh, what capacities your, your swimmers have. No? To compute for the time, hindi uh, naman natin pwedeng hulaan yung time, o hulaan lang natin, bibigyan natin ng interval, you have to compute for the time. What the, the, the time is computed very simple, uh, very simply as, 200 personal best divided by 2 plus 15 seconds. The application of this particular type of training, it varies depending on how much your swimmer could, could, could perform or how much your swimmer can do. No? It is also an excellent um, uh, set to use on swimmers um, if you want to monitor their progress with endurance and uh, uh, how fast they recover. That's why now it's called recovery and general endurance. You can give this if you're running if you're running a program where you're training um, anywhere from eight times to ten times a week. You can give this actually every six to twelve hours. Kaya ako nilagay twelve hours dito kasi meron dito yung mga batang mga swimmers. Siyempre, mga batang swimmers, wala pa masyadong endurance yan. It takes them normally more time to recover compared to uh, senior swimmers or junior swimmers, no? Aged about 14, 15, yung naka, na, medyo, medyo nakapag-training na ng mga mahaba. So, ito yung, ito yung uh, uh, time frame um, that, that will enable them to recover from, from the uh, stress uh, brought about by this particular type of training. So, let's go and move on uh, with the, the aerobic uh, aerobic one capacity. Okay, what I do is based on what I gave the 200 personal best PB for for uh, for freestyle. Assuming is too flat. The way to compute it is very simple. Based on this, 200 personal best, it divide mo lang by 2. This is expressed in minutes and in seconds. So, kung 2 flat yung best time niya sa 200, it divide niyo lang yan by 2. It will give you 1 minute. Now, to get the speed na kailangan niyan lang uyin, for every 100 meters, okay, dadagdagan lang natin yung 1 flat plus 15. Just like, just like what it says here on top. Okay? That will give you 1 minute 15 seconds every 100 meters. Okay? What I do at the start of the season, and any time of the season, especially if the swimmers are moving and they're improving, okay? This is what I do. I, I make what I call a table. Okay? And each swimming intensity... It could be it could be aerobic capacity one. It could be anything. Okay, for every particular energy system, meron na kong table. Very important yan, kasi dapat alam din ng swimmer kung gaano kabilis yung gagawin niyan langoy. Ilan ilan seconds yung magiging rest niya at ilang repetitions yung gagawin niya. It's important for you also to teach and educate your swimmers how to train instead of just telling them what to do. Sometimes kasi, uh, binibigyan lang natin ng workout. Uh, 
10 times 100, bilisan mo. Walang walang ibig sabihin yun, walang saysay. Kasi hindi mo naman nasabi kung gaano kabilis. Ang daming detalye no, na kailangan mong ibigay. No? So this this training aid will minimize um, the, uh, the effort uh, for a coach. This is a very handy tool, especially if you're training about 10, 15 swimmers, even more. Basta lahat meron nito, mas madali mong mamamonitor. All you have to do is just stand on deck. Ito, naka-print to, naka, naka to, naka-laminate, nasa pool deck. Tinitingnan mo lang. Makikita mo, makikita mo, mamamonitor mo lahat because you can get their times and you can see what they're, what they're actually uh, doing. So, for this particular type of uh, uh, table, okay, the aerobic capacity one. You have freestyle. You have the personal best time here of two flat. And then uh, 200 personal best divided by 2 plus 15 is 1 minute and 15 seconds. Yan ang, yan ang base time. Diyan mo ibe-base lahat ng computations ng mga, mga times na gagawin nila for, for these distances. Let's say for instance, bibigyan mo sila ng 50s. You want to give them, let's say, for instance, 1050s, aerobic capacity 1. Etong gagawin nila, 37.5. Hindi, hindi kailangan humataw yan ng 28s all out with 10 seconds rest. Hindi, <laughs> hindi kakayanin yun, hindi mangyayari yun. For every 100, 100 meters, uh, of course, it's 115. If it if it's 200 meters, uh, if it's 200 meters, it's 2 minutes and 30. If it's 400 meters, it's 5 minutes. You just keep on adding and multiplying uh, based on 115 per 100. And you can work um, a table. No? Uh, importante din dito, ginagawa ko to sa mga swimmers ko, I give them a blank sheet. Blank sheet, ito lang mga details na tong meron, tsaka yung strokes. Meron for backstroke, meron for breaststroke. Yung butterfly, hindi ko sinasali yun. Um, hindi muna pwedeng isali yung kumbata because uh, it, it will, it, it's, not, it's not applicable. No? Uh, you can actually uh, train more for, uh, give particular attention to freestyle and you can train them uh, for good endurance and it will carry on with other strokes. Uh, so I normally give them a, a blank sheet with all this data. Okay. And then nakikita, makikita nila yung formula. Ayan yung formula. Kukunin nila yung base time. Kukumputin nila yung mga base time nila. Ang gagawin mo na lang, check mo. You have to check. You have to check whether what they're doing is correct or what, what they have... Uh, computed is all wrong. So, kailangan yun, uh, magtulungan kayo with your swimmers para alam din ng swimmers kung gaano siya kabilis lalangoy. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next uh, page. Uh, I made I made another sheet here which makes it uh, a lot simpler. No, uh, You will give this for 20 minutes. Ang ideal, ang ideal uh, uh, training nito to uh, be able to to make this make this uh, work very well for your swimmers when you're training aerobic capacity one and you want to get general endurance and you want to train for recovery. Okay, is always 20 minutes. You if they can't do 20 minutes, it's okay. Give them 10 minutes. And then add on another 3, add on another 3, or add on another 5. Basta pag tinotal mo lahat, minimum isang set is 20 minutes. Kahit na bigyan mo sila na ano, kahit na, kahit na ako, ako binibigyan ko to, uh, I, give, I give my swimmers, um, when they're 12, 13 years old, I give them as much as 10,000 meters uh, uh, worth of work. No? That's how important and that is how critical endurance is or general endurance and recovery is to swimmers more than more than anything else so uh, 
wag kayong wag kayong magtipid dito because hindi lang naman swimming to you can you can give kick sets you can give drills combined with kick sets combined with uh with swimming sets you know hypoxic sets using using aerobic one capacity um um tables okay so this is the table i prepared you have the distance you have the number of repetitions you have the pace you have the rest interval and you have the given interval and you have the duration ito bale total total work work period or total workload um dito pag sinabing workload hindi hindi sinasama dito yung rest hindi kasama to like let's say for instance 37 ang lalamo yan at 45 on 45 hindi 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 45 yung bibilangin ninyo para maka-complete ng 20 minutes kailangan yung 37 lang 37.5 pag pinagsama-sama mo pag inadd up mo lahat yan yung total work volume ayan oh total work period should total 20 minutes okay so for this particular type of example dito sa taas yung mga swimmers na gumagawa ng 2 double O sa 200 free. Ito yung table. Aerobic 1 table, 50, 50 meters freestyle, 32, 32 times, averaging 37.5 with 10 seconds rest, 10 or 5 seconds rest. So this can be safe to give them 45. Pag hindi kinaya, okay lang. Bigyan nyo ng 50 on 50. Pero always check, pag kinakaya na naman, balik 45. Because you're training the body specifically to recover. Kaya nga recovery yung tawag. Tsaka general endurance. So, for instance, bibigay ka ng 32 times 50. Okay? On the on the 8th or on the 12th 50, eh, pa, pa, pagapang na, padapa na yung time. 40 na. Huwag niyong puwersahin na, ano, 10 seconds rest interval. Dagdagan niyo ng 5 seconds. Walang problema yan. Okay? Dagdagan niyo ng 5 seconds and observe. Okay? So, this becomes, hindi na 45, on 50 na yan. I-observe niyo, magugulat kayo, makikita niyo babalik yung time ng 37. Pag bumalik, pag bumaba yung time niya ng 36, what does that mean? They are recovering. And they are attaining general endurance. Kaya yun yung tawag dyan. Okay? 20 minutes of exercise. Okay? Please, pag binigyan natin ng training yung mga swimmers, huwag yung isusulat lang natin sa board, kukopyahin natin dito, bago uupo na tayo. No, we have to work. And we have to be on our toes. And we have to make sure that everybody is doing exactly as they should. Pagka 1.15, meron pa dyan, kunyari, susundan mo tong table na to, meron pa dyan. 1.15, okay? 32 times. Eh ano pa lang, 10 minutes pa lang, tapos na eh. Okay? Marami akong nakikitang ganyan. So as a coach, I, I would recommend, if you're coaching, uh, if you're coaching about 4 or 5 swimmers, you need you need two stopwatches. You can't do with one. You have to get one with splits. You have to get one with uh, a stopwatch with uh, uh, that registers uh, uh, splits every 50 or every 100 the way you want it done. Because you have to be constantly on your toes monitoring what they are doing. Okay. So, one time nakakita akong coach. Inabutan ako ng, ng card. High performance nakalagay dun sa card niya. So, tinignan ko. Sabi ko, tinanong ko, ilan yung swimmers mo? Uh, 30. Okay. I want to see this fellow monitor all of these times for 30 swimmers every single workout. Kaya, you know, that is not high performance. High performance is knowing what each swimmer is doing, particularly kung anong time. Anong distance? How many repetitions? 
okay each of those things the number of strokes the pulse rate which I will talk to you about later on um, that is a little bit more more complicated but let's start first with the time okay and if you have any uh, if you have any questions um, I will leave uh, I will leave information uh, later on after this video uh, clip to um, uh, tell you where you can get in touch with me so you can ask um, questions about about this particular subject. Ito, sinasabi ko talaga, napaka-importante to. Yung mga swimmers na nahawakan ko, those that were successful, were easily doing 10,000 meters just doing this. Walang hatawan, walang, walang, walang bakbakan sa training. We're focused on something else, and I give them what to focus on, but in essence, they understand very well what this is. Very, very, very important. So hanggang doon na lang for now, and then I'll move on to the next subject. Uh, thank you very much for your time.